Welcome to day 12. I'm wearing my joy sweater. I have a holiday party tonight, so this is probably going to go up super late. If not, you'll get two tomorrow. I don't have a lot of time this morning because I got to go pick up my coworker. I wanted to show you a few things before I do the advents. So these are Christmas crackers. They're a British tradition. I found them at Joanne. I believe in the custom, you put them on the table for Christmas meal. And I think the two people pull them and there's loot in here. There's like treasure. There's usually a paper crown, so maybe a joke, a toy. And whoever um, gets the most loot gets to keep it all. But I want to pop one open for you. So these were a little aggressive, let me tell you. So here we go. But I loved the colors. Here we go. Okay, that one didn't do it. The one I did at Chris or at my uh, party, my stuff went flying across the rooms. So, okay, here we go. So I had all my loot, and it didn't make a sound, did it? I guess not. We'll see when I watch the video back. So this is tradition. My hair is a little wet, so I don't know if this will work, but you get a paper crown that you should wear, right? So you all deserve a crown. I know I do. So we'll all be royalty for just a few minutes. So you, oop. I'm not sure if it'll work on my wet hair. It is made out of tissue paper. There we go. So you got to wear your crown. And what is the joke? Why did the French fry lose the race? It couldn't catch up. Oh my God, that is funny. And then it says, did you know one Google is the number one followed by 100 zeros? So Google is a number followed by 100 zeros. Coffee's backwards. Okay, and what is my treasure? It's wrapped, which is fun. At the party, I got a key ring. Uh, my brother got a little mini cheese grater, but I think it's for like spices and stuff. But Oh, a puzzle. My niece got this puzzle. And I think there's directions. Oh, it tells you you have to make, maybe make these different designs. But it comes, it's just wooden puzzle pieces. There's four of them. And you should be able to take these four pieces. Did I just drop a piece? Yes. You should be able to take these four pieces and make these different configurations. How fun is that? I mean, it's just a little treasure to have and joke and maybe start some conversations. But let's not flatten the curls, shall we? Okay. Uh, the other thing I needed to show you was my cat lady box came. <gasps> Look at the artwork. I'm dying. It's Wellington, sort of. Where is Wellington? He's right there. Um, and it's just telling me what's in the container or what's in the box. And first and foremost, I am going to die. It's a little polar bear cat toy. I'm holding these until Christmas to give them to the boys. So we'll just pretend they didn't see that. And this, my boys don't typically play with these. So I think I'll leave it in the package and give it away as a gift to someone. But that has a little kitten. It's a cat toy on a stick and it's a snowflake. I love it. My boys aren't too interested in those. They're older. But they will love this. And if they don't, Luna will when she comes to visit. And then I ordered this shirt. It was $5. And it's a play on Elf. And it says, I like cats. Cats are my favorite. So I got plenty of t-shirts to wear to work this week. Because it also came... So I paid separate for that, but the shirt in the box, which I think I need to downsize. These are running a little big. It is Christmas trees, and it says, 
Whisker Wonderland, but if you look at the bottom of the trees, it's cats. A cat silhouette. I love it. Actually, I could wear this all winter. They're just a little large, so I might need to size down if I order again. And then the last thing I received is a blanket, but I forgot scissors. Oh, I don't need to break that. Let's do this right over here. I don't know why they put these together with these plastic things, because I just end up tearing stuff. You know, you're not supposed to, but I'm trying to show you my blanket, which my boys love these blankets, and I needed some new ones this year because I wash them frequently. Uh, this is some type of geometric, like quilt, mock quilt. And it's super, super duper soft. So the boys will love that. And then the box, I swear, is laced with catnip because they will get in there and play. So those are the things I wanted to show. Oh, wait, I'm missing something. Socks. Winter cat socks. I don't want to break these. So let's just not rip these apart. You okay? Because, well, I don't have to because it already did. Oh, I see. The little, the little dealy here, almost, it's half broken. There. There we go. Maybe I'll wear these today. Oh my God, I love them. And look at the tops and the ears. Guys, I'm dying. I'm gonna wear these today because I have long pants on, you won't see. So that is everything I got in my cat lady box. Let's get to the advent calendar, if you will. We'll take one off the tree today. Oh wait, actually, Let's do this one here. And our trivia question is, in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what was the first name of Scrooge? Oh, I remember this. Ebenezer? Ebenezer? Ebenezer! Oh my gosh, guys, we are geniuses. We are smart. I love this trivia. And in here, what's in the package? We have ooh, a bracelet. Oh, a key ring. It's a key ring with a Highland cow. I'm dying. I'm dying a lot in this video, guys. I love it. Oh, it is like a bracelet. It's a bracelet key ring. How fun is that? And these beads are rubber. They're not wood. And look at that Highland cow. I'm obsessed. And then I have a key, put my keys on it, which I have a ton of keys over there that need some attention. So we'll definitely be getting into that. I haven't put this, my cross stitch shirt away, but let me put this paper. I don't like the boys to have access to that kind of stuff when I'm not home. All right, I think I got all the little bits and pieces. Let's take the... Not that I think they're going to do anything, but you never know. And then a kind folk told me that I missed Jesus day 10. So let's go back to day 10. I did. Here's day 10. If I can get it open. Oh, it's a dove. And it says, if I can read it, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has... I can't read it, guys, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. And there is a dove in there. And now today is day 12. And oh, there's an angel. Oh, I hope you can see it. I got to get in the light to read it. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. So now we're caught up with Jesus, what he's been up to for the last, you know, little bit. Oh, I did have one more thing to show you. If you're a cross-stitcher and you like making ornaments, I found, or any ornament really, I found the perfect finishing item for something small. It's just a wooden candy cane, or peppermint. 
it was a dollar. I bought four of these. A, I can make a Christmas ornament. Oh, Alex is in the box. A round one and attach it to this and it's already finished. Ah, or you can paint these things. It's just wood. Now you'd want to, if you're going to paint it, I would tape off the cord. You can't remove it. It's actually in the wood, but you can tape it off and then paint this whatever color you want. You're just going to have a red cord. But I thought these were perfect to finish ornaments on. So I got four of those. They were $1. Okay, sorry. I, I digress. Let's go to day 12 in our woobles. That yes, I'm still behind, but after tonight, I think my schedule eases up just a tad. So what are we making today? Oh, we're making a star for the top of our Christmas tree, which is fantastic because I was like, what am I going to do to my tree? He looks, he looks a little barren on top, but now when I get to it, maybe I'll skip ahead. I'll have a star for the top of my tree and I will have the skill set to make stars. I love my tree. It's so cute. Oh, let me put my wooble back. I love this little box. I wish it wasn't smashed when it came. Okay, no, it's an even number day, so no tea. Ah. And then last but not least, we have our cross stitch advent. Now, yesterday's is still sitting here because I was out and gone Ooh. until very, oh, hi, Alex. That's Alex. I had a question on which cat is which. That's Alex. Hi, Alex. Oh, my baby. He's a big boy. Um, so this is today, day 12. I've got to get caught up because I am due for Day 11 and 12. Let me just be all aggressive and rip this thing open. Okay. You always got to check your advents because you never know what's being tucked where. Oh, look at this color. It's called The Occasion. I hope it picks up the variegation. It does not. It is gorgeous. I'm trying to get it so you can possibly, maybe right there. It's like a rusty color, but there's, when in person, there are so much tones. It's very tonal. I love it. Day 12. In December 12th, um, it's no secret that I love museums. I have a Dutch and Belgium museum card, and whenever I get the opportunity, I will revisit one of the, and discover the collections and be inspired by all the stories and objects on display. Today on my YouTube channel, I'll be sharing a very special museum with you. And here's the picture. And I don't know what we're doing today, but it looks like we're adding to the bottom some motifs. I better get caught up. Uh-huh. So I'm going to stack these on top of each other. So that I don't um, get confused on what color goes with what day. Because I haven't marked them yet. Alright guys. Well that is everything I have for you today. I know I try to get this loaded. It definitely is not going to go up. Because I have to leave here in 20 minutes. But I will get it started. And I will talk with you later. Bye.